ECHO is an environmental just pace community organization with a diverse governance structure led by community members. ECHO considers a multitude of issues in our communities of Forest Heights in Turkey Creek, Mississippi. These neighborhoods and the wetness that run through them are historically, culturally, and ecologically important. However, they are under constant siege as a result of outdated and racist local zoning. The Northport property has been highly disturbed and is located at the site of the former Goldport Fertilizer Company. The site was found to have lead and arsenic contamination in soil and groundwater, and a corrective action plan was prepared in 2009. As a result, the eastern portion of the property has been capped with a 10 inch layer of clay and fenced off due to contamination. The land surrounding and sometimes within neighborhoods were intentionally zoned for industrial activity. For more than 80 years, residents have faced high exposure to air, water, and noise pollution, generating severe health issues, flooding, and low economic opportunity throughout the community. Of particular concern are the projected increases in heat changes in rainfall patterns, and rising seas brought on by climate change, coupled with the almost continual attempts to build industrial complexes over the remaining wetlands. We propose a comprehensive approach to educating a multitude of stakeholders on making the history of zoning and how it is generating today's issues and how changing it can lead to a better tomorrow. Changing the zoning will allow us to protect what is left of our wetlands and turn our focus to enhancing and expanding our nature-based solution, looking forward instead of behind us. Hi, I'm Councilwoman Ella Holmes Hines. We love our community. It doesn't matter how you feel about our community. We have roads that's trying to be built with a bill grant, which is going to flood our community. We know how to best serve our community and flooding us out is not that. If you commercialize this area, you will push us out of our homes and that's not gonna happen.